What's up guys, War here, and today I'm going to bring you a really cool build for Season 27 for the Necromancer, and I think that it's going to be a really awesome build to kind of farm T16 in the Nephilim Rifts in Season 27. I know the build has been around for a hot minute. I've always really liked the build, but I wanted to showcase it again today, and that is LOD Skeletal Mages. These things are awesome. They just follow you around and kill everything, so I'm going to put this on the showcase for you. Now, as you can see, I don't have a... Uh, angelic crucible power that's going to be put on this but if you do decide to play this build in season 27 you're going to want to run the power that has the additional one for the flesh golem where you stack up a bunch of corpses and you're able to use those which will help fuel you know your essence which will help you periodically be able to continuously cast uh the skeleton mages but without further ado let's showcase the build real quick guys i think the build is just really fun super awesome build super easy to play something that's very very casual very something you know something that just kind of just slaps a little bit you know what i mean it's pretty fast in some cases and all you're gonna do is just run around you're gonna bring down some skeletal mages and hopefully just destroy stuff oh i need my signal lacrim up i don't even know why i didn't uh, didn't hit that we need that we need that I should have had my my simulacrum up first, but okay, big mistake there. I thought I already had it on, but so the way the build works, guys, is pretty easy. You you put simulacrum up, then you keep bone armor up for uh, you know all your damage, and then all you're gonna do is just run around and cast mages. Now you want to be casting mages when you have your essence full to keep this on you know maximum, so they do the most amount of damage. And then when you're running around, whatever your mouse is kind of highlighted on, that is what they're going to be attacking. And then when you summon down a new one, try to summon it onto a monster that you want to try to kill. Otherwise, as you guys can see, our mages last about 12 seconds or so. So we're just running around absolutely destroying everything. And it's a really cool build. It's pretty casual. You're just kind of running around. You just highlight stuff and kill it. You know, you keep things messed up. You get your essence back from all from uh, our devouring aura, which helps us replenish our essence. I went the wrong way. And that's it. The build is just super fun. I think this is going to be a really cool build for Necros if you are going to be playing Necro next season. Now, I know we do have the really powerful um, Rathma build, and then we also have the super, super strong... Uh, blood nova build which is good both those builds are really good we've done videos on those guys so make sure to check those out but i think for just t16 farm you guys can see this build is just super fast super fast you keep your mages up almost non-stop and if you are running low on corpses you just fling your you just fling your golem at them that's all you do you just fling your golem you just let it ride man build is super fun super easy there's a couple different ways you can play the build, but it's it's just a lot of fun, man. I've really enjoyed this build a lot. The only bummer to this build, guys, is just it's just not very strong. That is that's the only bummer with the build. It's just it, it's just not strong. And as you can see, the Rift Guardians here. We're gonna go ahead and annihilate him. Super easy. Build is just super fast. Super fast. Super easy nothing to it you let the mages do all of the work okay you let the mages do all of the work all right so let's get into the build kind of what you need here so i will say right off the bat as you guys know we've talked about this in other videos any legacy of dreams build or lod build is just really hard to put together because you need all the items you need a legacy of dreams really high rank and you know it can be very hard to gear but thankfully, in Season 27, with Rathma being the Herodric's gift, you just get Rathma and you just farm all of these gear pieces to put this together. So, going over this, guys, of course, we have Haunted Visions, which allows you to keep all of your um, simulacrums alive forever. Then we have Reaper Wraps, which you can get from doing Act 4, I believe. Bounty uh, Caches that you can get, which will give us Globes, which is very important. Of course, Leoric's Crown to help reduce cooldown. Uh, Razalus Violation for Skeletal Mages get two additional runes. They get Gift of Death and Singularity, which is amazing. So we get three runes on Skeletal Mages. Uh, Tasker and Theo allows them to attack faster. Uh, now, this one, Requiem uh, Caraplate, if I'm saying that right, is the main thing. We need this 
so that way devour restores our essence meter so that way we can continuously cast mages when the timers go down so you have to have this then we got gold wrap which will help on gaining armor to keep us alive throughout nephilim rifts and t16 bounties hexing pants of mr um yan to for more damage and move speed and then of course stuart greaves is great for increased move speed then on our weapons and offhand we have scythe of the sickle because we're going to have bone armor up all the time so this gives us more damage uh, and then lost time which is great so it reduces the movement and uh, increases our movement so we're just flying around the map uh, for our rings on top of haunted visions we have circle of najul's avol which is also another key piece to the build because it allows our skeletal mages to last four more seconds and we cast an additional one when we uh when we do it which allows us to cast i think we cast four at a time which is great you max out at 10. and then avarice band because this increases our pickup radius so avarice band combined with gold wrap just gives us an insane armor bonus which will help keep us alive even longer because as you guys saw at the beginning of that rift the build's kind of squishy okay so that's the gear that's everything that you need in the cube uh, we have uh, the shadow hook which gives us more essence and regenerates faster and gives us the increased damage so that way when we summon a skeletal mage at maximum uh essence which is 558 we get a big huge bonus firewalkers just help us deal some more damage you could probably move this cube slot into something else if you really wanted but firewalkers are cool if you want to move it into um something you know illusionist boots to just kind of go through everything so you don't get held up that's cool too uh, Squirt's Necklace, definitely for double damage. Into our skills, guys, we're going with uh, Command Golem Flesh Golem, which is great. When you slap the golem, it makes a bunch of corpses for you, which will give us our essence to summon our skeletons. Of course, Skeletal Mage, we're doing life support, though, for just more damage. Uh, blood Rush Potency for armor when we're blood rushing around. Devour, Devouring Aura, so that way we pick up stuff. You may have to backtrack a little bit to just kind of keep that thing going, but you move so fast, it makes no difference anyway. Uh, bone armor harvest of anguish i'm going with this because of the move speed if you really wanted to you could go with desolation to stun everything for just you know so that way your mages can just kill them even faster if i guess if you want but i like the increased movement speed because we're all about speed in t16 and then of course simulacrum reservoir which gives us our maximum essence increase by 100 percent which allows us to do more damage into our passives we have fuel by death when consuming a corpse our movement speed is increased uh, dark reaping every time we kill something we're going to get two essence back or two percent and then overwhelming essence increase it by 40 because we need as much as possible and then final service for just if we die we get another life you could swap this out for something else if you really like but i like final surface especially if you're gonna be a hardcore player so that is the bill guys thank you guys so much for watching um i really like lod mages i think it's a cool t16 build and i really just love watching them just annihilate everything with their spells it's just really cool and i think the necromancer is going to be really fun to play i think this will complement running rathma uh with uh running rathma or running tal rashas in season 27 because both of those builds are absolutely insane so i think this is just a cool t16 build to kind of mix it up in your necromancer uh play style but that's the build guys thank you so much for watching if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe all the love has been fantastic my mind's blown guys thank you so much um we're gonna just keep grinding the grind never stops and season 27 starts tomorrow so i am ready to just have so much fun on season 27 uh but thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace